So we're now coming to ARIAC, the European Roma Institute for Art and Culture, and let's go into the Kititsi show. Do you know about Pippi Longstocking? Yes, of course, she's one of my favorite childhood characters. Very good, because Katizzi is uh, a more modern version of uh, Pippi Longstocking, but somebody who is grounded more in reality than Pippi. This exhibition deals with the literary character, which is Katizzi, and she's the lead figure in a dozen children's books that were written between 1969 and 1982 mm. by Katarina Taikon. She has been called the Martin Luther King of Sweden. And she was an activist, a writer, Roma origin, who grew up and lived her whole life in Sweden. Okay. And we have Katitsi, the, the uh, child bride, Katitsi Z1234, Katitsi in Stockholm, and uh, Katitsi on the run. Books really reflect her childhood, her youth. Uh, the coming of age also. Yeah, the coming of age, exactly. Yeah. So the exhibition focuses on the literary character through the books, mm. through the original illustrations, mm. um, through other expressions of the popularity of Katitsi, mm. because it became a bestseller in Sweden. When the first book appeared in uh, 1969, it was very much the result of Katarina Taikon being frustrated with her activist work. She had lobbied hard for the rights of the Roma together with her sister, Rosa, whose name is mentioned here, yeah. and some other friends, in relation to Swedish authorities, uh, but she felt that she couldn't get as far as she wanted. And she thought that talking to children about the Roma situation would be a way forward. And that's why she started to write these books. And here we have some of the original covers of the books that appeared uh, one per year, which were made by Björn Hedlund. And he's key in telling the story about Katitsi because it's not just a text about this girl, it is also uh, the images. He helped form uh, the literary character. Yeah, that's what I wanted to like ask. Of course, like probably, I mean, the Katerina Taikon has the, the text, but of course, like that she needed to have like really good uh, visual partner to be able to create that imaginative world of Katitsi. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, I, I got the first Katitsi book on my sixth birthday. It accompanied me uh, in my childhood and I moved a few times. It, I always kept it.